Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Miss Claire Mega Matte Lipsticks. Now it has been a long, long time since I have these lipsticks with me and finally I got around filming this video. Now they have come out with 21 shades and I have picked out 10 of them. So as always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. So let's quickly go over what the features of these lipsticks. Now, it says that it is an ultra hydrating bullet style lipstick that delivers an elegant matte finish. It is highly pigmented formula, offers an instant pop of color to amp up any look. It's lightweight and creamy formula which glides effortlessly and offers comfortable wear. Now, this is available in 21 easy buildable colors which are subtle as well as fun shades. Now, like I mentioned before, they do offer about 21 shades and these are priced at 250 rupees for 3.5 grams of product. So, this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this frosted transparent tube with color coordinated writing and the packaging as well. It is not exactly color coordinated but kind of and at the bottom you have the shade number and this is how the actual lipstick looks like and now let's finally move on to the lip swatches
All right, so let's go over the formula, the pros and the cons. Now, the first point is that when you apply this lipstick, it goes on a bit matte, but when it settles down onto your lips, it does feel like a creamy matte finish. Like it does have a slight sheen to it, which is nice. Now, the second point is that these are quite pigmented and I personally do prefer like two layers to get the full opacity, but even one layer, you're good to go. Now, these are quite light and comfortable on the lips. For example, right now I have layered multiple times, like two different shades, but it does not feel heavy or anything of that sort and my lips also feels quite moisturized now these lipsticks are not transfer proof or smudge proof hence it is not mask friendly as well like for example they do transfer quite a bit like so however like any other bullet lipstick if you do blot your lips using like a tissue paper like a dry tissue paper then you will be good to go because it will take off the top creamy layer of the lipsticks and this is how it looks like once you have a heavy meal and as you guys can see once you do press your lips together it does give you a sheer coverage of the original color so these lipstick lasted for me for about like four to five hours max and then i had to reapply it but then what i did like is that they do fade in a graceful manner Manner. now for the removal of these lipsticks you can just use like a wet wipe and you are good to go and lastly i do appreciate the fact they do have like an arm swatch available online which kind of is helpful for picking and choosing the colors that you would like and now for the FIIs, there are two quick points. The first point is that it does have a very subtle vanilla sort of a smell. It does not linger or anything of that sort. It does disappear quite quickly. And the second point is that the dark pink shades, they do slightly stain your lips after you remove them. So yeah, FII. And lastly for the cons, there is nothing in particular in my personal opinion because overall I do like these lipsticks. There is nothing too bad, not too great. It's like a decent bullet lipstick. It has a good formula. It is priced decently for the quantity that you get. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Miss Claire Mega Matte Lipsticks and this is wrap today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to me so whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishanaya on Instagram and Ishanaya on Twitter as well. So until the next time take care. Bye.